Prince, no Prince, no Prince. Rest in peace to my What's up, it's your girl Socks. Don't forget the eggs. We're here with Inner Vision. And today we got No Breaks, No Breaks, man, representing Take Notes. Um, where'd you get the name No Breaks from? Um, honestly, we were just young and wild when mm -hmm. I started doing music, so that's the first thing that came to my head. I was just that's the best way to describe us. No so, breaks. Cause we started, yeah, we started off as a, a big entertainment group, mm -hmm. No Breaks ENT. And everybody just called me No Breaks instead of my rap name. So. Which was? Flame. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just went ahead and kept No Breaks. How long ago was that? 2012, we started our, our um, first label. Okay. 2012. Um, when did you start rapping? I've been rapping since, since I could talk, honestly. I've been doing music my whole life. Mm -hmm. But I started taking it serious about 2011 mm -hmm. when we really... We went to a Meek Mill concert at mm -hmm. Beecham, and all my homeboys know I know how to rap and stuff, and they were just like, man, you need to do it. You need to do it. We're going to put our money into you. We're going to put our money into you. So I just did it, you know what I'm saying? And that's when it all started. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Beecham, a couple weeks ago you were there, weren't you? Yes, I you was. You had performed. Yes, um, Richie Rich had handed you the mic, Yeah. and everything just went crazy. How was that? I mean, honestly, I, I mean, it was, it just went all for, off the first the first thing that came to my head, you know, because mm -hmm. the lady asked me from 104.5, um, she was like, do you want me to introduce you or do you want to? Brittany. And I was just like, nah, give me the mic. So she was like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. So I just took the mic and I just went. I just went with what I knew. I knew I had to handle business. That's what I did. Yeah, because, um, like I said, I was there and I was on stage. And I was on the block across, and I was just like, oh, yeah. all of a sudden, Richie was like, oh, and I got my boy, no, no brakes. That's my boy. Boom, handed you the mic, you went in, and I was like, yeah. okay, turn up then. And everybody on that side was going crazy. Like, Shout out to Richie Rich. Yeah. That's my boy, that's yeah. my boy. I mess, um, with, I mess with Beach, and that's my family. Yeah. yeah. So how, how long have you known Richie? I know Richie Rich since I started doing okay. my first shows, because we started in 2012, so I've known him since then. But um, when we first got into actually wanting to do music, I had to ask um, the owner of Beecham, of course, I had to go through him. And he was like, unfortunately, you have to go through my DJ. He was like, you got to ask um, Richie Rich and you got to ask JR. Right. And they gave me the approval, and that's how I started doing my shows. So that one that I just did was the fourth one that I did. Okay. Since, uh, that's what's up. Um, so we're not in our normal studio. Tell us where we're at right now. Right now, you guys are in Midway. You know, that's in Sanford, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, this is where we basically grew up in our childhood. Um, my best friend, when we met, uh, I just came from Denver, Colorado. I'm not even from Florida. Um, that was probably 20 years ago. So um, from there we came to Midway, and that's this where we've been since, you know. Okay, I was about to ask, are you enjoying all the weed out there? But you said 20 years ago, so. Well, you I just went for the first time yeah. in like 16 years. I went back, and I I was sleep a whole day. I couldn't handle it. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, my cousins and them took me out there. It's been like 18 years. So when I went, it was some somewhere around. It's been a while. But when I went, I like I smoked smoked so much I passed out my whole first day didn't even see my family or nothing I was locked in the hotel room gone passed out crazy um where do you get your musical influences from what, what I was going through trials and tribulations mm -hmm. my friends you know I get um so much motivation from everybody my son you know and it's a spiritual thing I just do it do it from the heart right if you could um name maybe like your top five artists that you look up to or that you could like relate to, who would they be? Definitely uh, Kodak, mm -hmm. NBA Youngboy, mm -hmm. um, Lil Baby. Young, all, um, like all, all your artists young. Kevin Gates, mm -hmm. what am I, four? Yeah, four. I don't really listen. I listen to a lot of underground music. Uh -huh. people you can name those even, too. I mean, I, I listen to a lot. Man. But my top, honestly, I don't yeah. listen to too much. But NBA those, Young Boy and Kodak, those two. I don't really listen to too much. I try to open up, but 
I don't, the industry too fake. I don't really listen to too yeah. much. I don't really keep my ear too open. But I listen to a lot of local artists. Mm -hmm. Loose Cannon, of course. Um, YG Ivy. Um, listen to a lot of the locals, man. A lot of locals around here. Just a lot of underground music. Um, now, have you had any features with the local artists? I have. Um, mm -hmm. my, first, my first feature I ever did when we first started No Breaks was with YG Ivy. At okay. the time, he was like popping. This was in like 2000. 11, 2010 yeah. maybe. I remember those times. And he yeah. was like popping in Orlando. He was like the biggest, he was like one of the biggest names in Orlando and that's what we used to listen to when we was out here young and wild running around the same streets right here, you know. And all my homeboys was like, call him, we need to. I'm like, I don't know how to get in contact with yeah. him. Yeah. So I did it, I just went, looked it up, found his manager and stuff, we linked up with him. We uh, went to Marlon, Marlon Pont, shout out to Marlon. Um, we recorded, we met up with them, everything was official, you know, they pulled up. They was really on that, really living like that. We we linked up, we still cool now, you know. And, um, we did our first song and I was like going crazy out here, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of people weren't, a lot of underground artists weren't doing music out here in Sanford back then. So, like when we were doing it, you know, had a lot of motivation going on around here. Right. You know. From 2011 to now, what has changed in the music industry locally and um, I guess you could say me, uh, mainstream? A lot of faking it to make it. Mm -hmm. A lot of, um, it ain't authentic no more, you know? Money can get you somewhere. Back then it was all talent, mm -hmm. you know? Back then it was a lot of talent and I feel like if it was peer like it was back then, I probably would have been blown a long time ago, you know? But these days, you know, you can't really fall. Like back then, you could fall, get up, and still here. If you fall, you out. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, because um, it's a lot of it's a lot of money shadowing, shadowing shit. You feel me? So politicking. Somebody can be garbage and can't can't can barely spell. You know what I'm saying? But they can have a lot of money mm -hmm. and they can turn them into the next best thing in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because a lot of people don't even care. It's not even about you know. You got people like me who do it. I don't, I don't need a penny, you know, I do it because I, I know when I go and do a stage or like I took at Beach, you know, I took my whole team, they don't even come out, you know, a lot of my homeboys don't, they don't go to the club or nothing, but I do it more on, you know, just to make my people feel like they somebody. Every time we go somewhere, mm -hmm. that's how it's always been, you know, every time we go somewhere, I'm representing my team, you right. know, it's not like that no more. People will hang around you for money, don't even know you. Can't even tell you your favorite color, you mm -hmm. feel me? But they'll have a whole entourage behind them. So it's, it's, it's changed a lot, so. What has changed uh, as you the artist from 2011 to now? Um, staying, staying to myself, really. And the people who really for me. Mm -hmm. um, back then, you know, it, it was more open to meet people. You know, now I'm at the age now why I'm more, I feel more safe dealing with the people who I mess with. And, Cause I done network so long from 2011 to mm -hmm. now, I done networked and met a lot of good yeah, that's people. that's like a whole 10 years. Yeah, I done met a lot of good people, you know what I'm saying? So if they don't really fit in the category of what I'm doing now or what I stand for, the people who stand around me, cause you know, I got a foundation going on then I don't really care too much. If right. they can't benefit me, then I don't really care too much for it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of artists, they go from like, when they first start rapping, having like 50 people on their team to like going to like five. Like, has that happened to you? Nah, we went from like, honestly, when I started, it was a big movement when I first started right. doing music. A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people weren't really doing it locally. Right. So we had a big, like I said, it was a lot of people who know somebody, know somebody. So we went from like 500 when we used to go to the clubs. Like literally, we used to spend two, three thousand dollars on bottles. You know what I'm saying? And just bringing a swarm. So now it, it dropped, but 
you know, the, the main core is still there. You know what I'm saying? My right. main core, I just really dropped a lot of dead weight. Right, you know so yeah. yeah, so it's pretty yeah. much like the same thing. Like, you yeah. know, a lot of people hang around and do but, a lot of sacrifice. Like, they don't understand, like, I guess, being the entourage per se comes with sacrifices too, especially if you're yeah. part of the team. So yeah. like, if they don't want to, they don't want to sacrifice and they kind of fall off or you see people have different agendas than you, just like how you were saying and stuff like that. So it happens. Um, have you had to, have you had to check anybody in these streets as an artist? <laughs> I ain't gonna fake it to make it, yeah. Yeah. We don't have to do it out here, you know, because a lot of people don't, they, they don't try you. You're right. But I mean, we got a lot of respect out here where mm -hmm. I'm from. Where I'm right. from, we got a lot of respect, but people who don't know me, of course, they gonna try to see if the, you know, like your mom tell you, if the stove look hot, don't touch it. You right. know what I'm saying? So people gonna try you, but when it got exposed, it got exposed. I never had no problems out mm -hmm. here, though. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, so on the music and say artists out here locally, who do you want to um, have a feature with or like to collab on music with? Like if you could collab with anybody out here, who would you want to collab with? Honestly, I know Intervision messed with Loose Cannon Heavy. Me and him real close, that's mm -hmm. my dog. But it's just like, I know the whole team, but it's just time, you know? Right. We always got a lot going on. He used to run around here, Loose Cannon. So Loose Cannon definitely, we got a lot of work to put in, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But um, Loose Cannon, um, Rondo, he locked up. He coming home though, he, he on his way home. Me and Rondo gonna do some music. It's just been a lot of focusing on my teams, you know, that I haven't really had a chance to really, cause I got a lot of people who wanna do music with me. Like I, I just, I haven't even, I've been pushing a lot of features and stuff off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta focus on, you know, what we got going on. Cause we got, we got a big plan, so. Right. Now you already performed at Beecham. I know that like, some people in uh, Orlando or just like, you know, their own hometown, it could be Orlando, Miami, Tampa, whatever, you know, the biggest club in their city is like the cap. If you could perform anywhere else, as far as like a bigger venue, where would you want to perform at? It doesn't even have to be in Orlando, it could be in Florida, period. Well, honestly, I, I, I get influenced by big artists who hit stages like, like, like um, arenas. So I, w I won't even put a specific Place, you know what I'm saying? But I want to make it to an arena, you know what I'm saying, with a big crowd. Because I think Beach and Hose, maybe 2,000, what, 1,500 to 2,000 people. Mm -hmm. So like me, I go on, I go literally on YouTube and just be looking at, you know, artists going performing on big ass where you can't see nobody. Because, I mean, even at Beach and, you know, because you're on the stage, you know, a lot of people think that you can, you can't really see you know, yeah, you unless really they really, yeah, thing. unless they really put the lights on and turn it on, you don't really even see those people. So I can just imagine if I hit a stage with six times of that, you know what I'm saying? So, because <clears throat> performing, that's what I like doing. That's I, I get a thrill out of it. I black out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to ask, um, as far as like performing, a lot of people don't think that performing is part of the artistry of yeah. like music and everything like that. Like, how did you develop your confidence to perform mm -hmm. in general, like in front of people, because even though you might not see them, it's still yeah, nerve-wracking that you have a lot of people in front of you, right? A lot of people, that's a good point. A lot of people, that's that's a big point in the industry. A lot of artists in the industry now, that they don't even like performing mm -hmm. because, you know, um, words, messing up your words and messing up your words and mumbling. Yeah, and you gotta right. know what you're doing. And you also gotta perform, you know, you got people the watching energy. you. You mm -hmm. gotta have, you got people looking at you. So what started me with everything, I, um, when I was early in my career, a close friend of mine, um, Mert, we did a song together and at the time I had a um, guy in California who was trying to get me pushed. He was an AR trying to get me pushed and I sent him a track that me and him did. And the, um, the AR sent back a reply and they were like, we like the other guy, you know, no breaks. We, we love him. He got good lyrics. He got everything's on point. They was like, but we can tell that he's still at the stage where he's reading his raps. They were like, but the other guy that's on it, you know, we love him. You right. know, we, we, oh, we love him. He sold himself. He's not a better rapper, but he sold the himself. Energy, right. So, like, honestly, 
I never been in competition with nobody, but it kind of like that was I was early in my state. I was like 2010 before I even started no breaks. Um, so like it kind of hit me hard. I'm like, dang, you know, I'm so used to everybody telling me, oh, you the best, you the best, you the, you, you, you know. So when it, they told me that, I'm like, so I asked him, I'm like, yo, what you what you do? And he was like, you got to practice in the mirror. And I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, man, you got to go in the mirror, man. Just feel yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to find yourself. And so I'm like, yeah. And he was like, yeah, go in the mirror. You know what you're saying. He was like, just start. And I, and I took that and literally ran with it. You know what I'm saying? And when I started performing, I, I did it early in the age with my best friend. You know, we lived in, in Rosecliff. That's another, that's before, that's when we were young, childhood. We lived in the hood and we used to have the whole neighborhood, all our friends back then in the backyard at the park, I'm performing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we were little kids, 10 years old. I'm in the back, I got all the little girls. We used to make up raps and I used to sing, you know, rap in the back. So, you know, I've been doing it for a long time, but honestly, it's just repetition. You know, I've been doing, I've been freestyling and I've been, music been part of my life, my you know, since I could remember, so. Right, right, that's what's up. So what's next for No Breaks? No breaks, honestly, for me, it's just going, it's going up, you know, because I done learned a lot and I, I done been through a lot, a lot of trials and tribulations. And honestly, I'm just tired, you know what I'm saying? So I know what's, I know what's best for me, you know what I'm saying? And that's focusing on, on, on the bigger picture and that's take notes, you know what I'm saying? We just started take notes um, last year in December. Um, and we just leaving a lot in the past, you know what I'm saying? So this is our second time around. We good, you know, I'm, I'm back better. I've been through a lot, you know, um, fell a lot, jail. We lost a lot of friends. You know, we got a lot of people incarcerated. A lot of friends died. A lot of, lot of, lot of karma, a lot of everything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's just- A lot of life. A lot of life, right. And it's just, now I know it's time for, time for us to really take it serious. So that just means better in ourselves. So that's what we did in that big gap. Cause I really stopped rapping around 2014, 2015. I did an opening for Lucci at the barn. And from there, everything went down here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my friends, we had a lot of money in it when we were younger and we was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? So we had a lot of money. It looked easy, you know what I'm saying? When you out there doing that, you know what I'm saying? But it come with jail, it come with, you know, hard times, it come with a lot. So when all our homeboys and people that was putting money into it went to dropping, you know what I'm saying? You really get a harsh reality of it, you know? Then you get to seeing people, hey, why you ain't doing music? Why you ain't doing music? Why you ain't doing music? Music take money. Yeah, like it ain't cheap, you feel me? So it's just like, now I know we ready, you know what I'm saying? So take notes is basically, we're, we're, we we want to we want to give you know what I'm saying it ain't even about it's not even about money to us we've been touching money since preteens it's not even about money that's just what comes with it but it's just more on, we want to give you know what I'm saying so take notes we just giving our vision on everything what we've been through and that come through the music we got a lot of stuff coming up as in um, shirts we got a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of music a lot of videos. Um, we're gonna have classes, you know what I'm saying? We got clothing lines for days that we've been planning and thinking. So mm -hmm. it's just a lot, of, a lot of pushing ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Pushing ourselves to the top, you know, showing our full potential on everything, on what we learned. Right. And we got a lot of people to represent that's in jail, that's dead. It's just, it's our time to show everybody, you know? So. Our, our main focus is moving bigger than where we've been, you know what I'm saying? We done did a lot, so now it's just expanding. You know, it's time to expand. We know a lot of people, mm -hmm. not just here. We know every, you know, like I said, I'm from the West Coast. We got people everywhere, so it's just expanding bigger than here. We got a lot of support in our city, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a lot of, lot of, lot of expanding. That's it, just expanding and, and showing, showing our growth, what we came through. Gotcha. Okay, well, let the people know where they can find you on social media, okay. on all your music platforms, anything else that you want to tell the people that they should know about, no break. Okay, well, right now, y'all can check me out on Facebook under Trey Abrams, that's T-R-A-Y, last name A-B-R-A-M-S. Instagram is no breaks E-N-T underscore C-E-O. Again, that's no breaks E-N-T underscore C-E-O. 
Um, you can catch me on Snapchat. That's CEO dot Buckwheat. Um, as far as music, you can go on the YouTube page. We got the Take Notes LLC. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to put the link to everybody to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube account. We're going to have a lot of music coming up. Um, please go and like that new video, leave a comment. We want all feedback when you go on that YouTube page. Um, that's that, the, the song I performed at Beach mm -hmm. That's the new track that we pushing. But Let me we know what it's called. It's um, 2020. You could, you'll see it on the YouTube account. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot more music coming on that page. This is going to be a beginning to a lot coming up. But um, other than that, um, just stay tuned to all the other. Um, we're going to have a lot of music coming on platforms, but it's just we got a, got a lot of patching up and doing right. a lot of stuff. But definitely coming, coming real soon. All right, you heard it from Intervision TV. Socks, don't forget the X. No breaks, no breaks, no breaks. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all go ahead and tune in. We got a lot coming up. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for Intervision. Thank you to Socks. And take notes. I'm telling y'all, man, take notes. Get you a pen and a pad, man.